Helping you plan your day with Central Virginia's most accurate forecast, meteorologist Carrie Rose. I love getting these fall photos. This one coming to us from Scott. Pretty view there. Maybe some of those geese are migrating. Pretty view of the fall trees there. I love that contrast. And here's a good one from looking out. I think this is at Gray's Point. Isn't that beautiful? Thanks, Bill, for sending in that. And you can send me your best nature weather shot on Facebook, Twitter, or tag me on Instagram. Outside right now, skies are clearing. I know it's still too dark to tell, but we are dry. We will become breezy once we get past sunrise. Temperatures are falling as a result of the clearing skies and the cooler air coming in behind the cold front. So most of you are into the 40s right now. It is 37 in Louisa. And just to give you some perspective to compare to how we were 24 hours ago, we're now running about 10 to 15 degrees cooler than we were at this time yesterday because of our frontal passage. There's the system that's producing snow up in the main, by the way. Cooler air coming in behind it. As we look in a little bit closer here, you can see clear skies, a little bit of cloud cover hanging out over the northern neck, northern Virginia, and out toward the mountains. Temperature is back closer to home into the mid to upper 40s for you. It's 47 in Richmond and also she had out toward Mechanicsville and I think we'll hold at about 45 to 46 degrees over the next several hours. This afternoon a high just touching 61. It'll be breezy from the northwest at 15 to 25 miles per hour. Sunset is at 505. So there goes our cooler air that's been with us. We actually get a little bit of a warm up into the beginning of next week. This is Tuesday of next week on the 11th. I think that we'll get that southerly flow kicking back in from the deep south all the way back up into the mid-Atlantic. But look at what is coming. This is going to be a little blast of cold Arctic air that we're tracking coming out of the Arctic through Canada and moving on into our region as we get into Friday. So here you are Friday the 14th and I'll just let this settle on in. These moving white colors here are showing us the winds helping to transport in that colder air. So by the end of next week it does look like to me we are going to be settling into a much colder pattern and you can see that showing up there at the very end of our forecast on Thursday. It looks to us like highs on Thursday. Friday may only be in the 40s both days probably a similar story comes Saturday of next week but now we're getting on a little bit beyond our seven day forecast so we'll be tracking those changes tracking the cold air and let you know what we expect to happen with that system Rob